up chuckle fucks I'm back doing a video I'm using a different microphone again um, it's nothing new it's something I've had for a while I just could never get it to work it's one of these little cool little wireless ones look at that look I can stand I can stand way back here and it's like I'm right next to you it's like I'm still I'm still over there huh so no cool lights in the background or anything like that today today's a serious video when I was younger I worked in a lot of restaurants so I was 17 years old and I had a dishwashing shift at this restaurant. It was a Lone Star Steakhouse. And I was there till like 1 or 2 in the morning, usually when I, when I closed night shifts, washing dishes. Now, um, this particular night I had made a mistake uh, early on in the day and that mistake was eating Taco Bell. Now, it sounds like a cliche, oh, I ate Taco Bell and it upset my tummy. Normally, Taco Bell doesn't affect me like that. Never, ever, ever. I, like, when it comes to Taco Bell, I can fucking just hold it down, right? But there's one exception. Ever since I was a little kid, the Taco Bell mild sauce had an effect on me. I, like, ever ever since I was a kid, you know, I was, like, 9, 10 years old, I, I knew that the mild sauce at Taco Bell would mess me up, so I didn't touch it. Never touched it again. Until this one night, I, I had Taco Bell, and I was like, huh. I kind of like the flavor of the mild sauce, you know, it tastes different. Each sauce has their own unique flavor. You know, I'm 17 now, 18 years old, I don't really remember, one of those two. So, <coughs> I should be able to handle mild sauce, okay? Let's just, maybe it was just a thing when I was a kid. I don't remember what I ate, it's probably just two cheesy gordita crunches, you know, the go-to, uh, and a Baja Blast, that's what everyone gets. So I had that before my shift with my mild sauce. And I and then I, I went to work seven eight o'clock and we're it's a it's a busy restaurant right it's a Friday night we're busy as fuck slammed more than usual which you know I thought was weird so you know around like again eight, eight or nine o'clock I, I start getting a uh, start getting a little sweaty a little weird sweats and I feel this little rumble in my tummy and uh, I know what that rumble is it's nothing good I leave my dish pit which is just in the back of the restaurant in the back and I walk step right out. To the, to the front, fucking packed, insane. People everywhere, people standing, bars filled up, all tables filled up, lines outside. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why are all these people here? Why does it have to be tonight? Why did I eat Taco Bell mild sauce? I didn't want to use the bathroom at work. I was embarrassed. I didn't want people to hear a guy use the bathroom like I had to, and then he comes out and it's like, oh, you work in the kitchen, huh? You work in the back. I mean, I worked, I washed dishes, but they didn't know that. I looked like I was dressed like a cook, right? I, I can't, it's not, I can't hold it in. I have to do something. I bolt it out the back of the restaurant. I see my boss. I was like, I'll be right back. I'm going to be sick. And he was like, okay. Ran out the back of the restaurant. Now I live in North Carolina. There's lots of woods, tall grass, and it's a straight shot back there. And what was going in my mind was, okay, instead of pooping, in the fucking bathroom in the restaurant I'm working at, I'm gonna go into these woods, I'm gonna like squat behind a tree or in some tall grass, and I'm just gonna shit out there. I don't know what I'm gonna do about toilet paper, I'm just gonna shit out there. Uh, or behind the dumpster, that's what was going through my mind. I can't, I don't understand why I was like this, okay? But bear with me. Run out the back, see the woods, I'm like, all right, this is happening. But then I look a little to the right, and I see her. Big golden sign that said, Best Buy. And I was like, that's what I'm, that's where I'm going. And it was just a quick run across the field of the tall grass. And I'm just like fucking running out there. I, I, I don't know. Maybe my boss, like someone saw me running out there towards Best Buy. And they're like, oh, what the fuck's this guy? It was, what the fuck's this guy doing? But I worked in the dish pit. So it, it wasn't that big a deal. Um, if I was gone for like 20, 30 minutes, it's just dishes, right? They're, they're going to stack up either way. Now I run into this Best Buy to do my business and it's more packed than the fucking restaurant. And again, I was like, what the fuck? Why is it so packed tonight? What the fuck's going on? Didn't occur to me until that very moment that it was Black Friday. And I was in a Best Buy at like eight, nine o'clock at night. I just, I just go, I, I go run into the Best Buy. It's like 20 people like working there uh, with the Best Buy blue on shoulder to shoulder almost packed i run to the back thankfully there's no line for the bathroom that was crazy but there were a lot of people in the bathroom itself 
luckily the stall was open up and I I did unholy things in that stall. And I I I look at it now and it's I like why why didn't I just go in in the in the restaurant, right? It would have been fine. It happens, right? My fucking cat's yelling at the door. Yes? Come here. Nope. Oh. You're going to make a special appearance. Appearance. God, I can't fucking talk today. No, I don't want to hear it. Oh. This is Toulouse, by the way. Left that bathroom steaming. Again, moral of the story is just just poop if you got to poop. Don't don't be afraid to just poop where you work, okay?